we're in this mess because society has lost sight of what's most important. What matters most to me is my faith and my family. And I know I'm not the only one who believes that way. So we're joining together as God-fearing men and women to take the light into the darkness. One of my favorite hunts every year is loading up and heading to West Texas to hunt antelope with 4F Outfitters. This year, I'm just running the camera and Mark Hudson has his night muzzle loader and we're headed out hoping to lay down a pronghorn. When you're hunting with 4F Outfitters, it's not an issue of if you're going to see an antelope, it's which one do you want. The numbers are great in West Texas, and the guys at 4F do a great job doing their homework, so you know it's going to be just a matter of time before you spot a good antelope and you're putting on a stock. Cal Ferguson and the rest of the guys at 4F Outfitters do a great job scouting. They know their properties, they know the animals on their properties, and so no matter what it is, you're coming in to hunt with 4F Outfitters, you know that you're in good hands because these guys have done their homework. 4F Outfitters not only has some great antelope hunting, but they also have some great mule deer and whitetail hunting, along with Rio Grande turkey and free range audad. Well, we spotted this antelope from the road and he's not in a great position, but the wind's right for us to get down into a draw, make a big circle around him and try to come up into his face. We move in, we get into position and it looks like everything is gonna come together perfect for us. After seeing a ton of antelope, 
cow finally spots one and tells us, guys, I think this is a buck that we're going to want to go after. He's big, he's mature, and he's exactly the type of antelope that you want to come out and try to hunt with 4F Outfitters. The terrain in West Texas is just so open. Not every stock is possible just because of how the terrain's laid out, but this antelope is in a place that we feel like we can move into position to get a shot. wind's right, we drop down into a draw, and Cal leads us in, really taking our time. We get into what we feel like is a pretty close range where these antelope are. Mark gets laid down prone, gets ready to take a shot, and now all we have to do is wait for the antelope to cross the draw and give us a shot. Well, it looks like this is gonna happen perfect for us. The antelope are cruising across the edge of the draw and just about par for us, a coyote comes out, spooks the whole herd, they run over to him, check him out, and then the antelope just never gives us a good clean shot. He stays on the skyline, doesn't give us the shot that we're looking for, but we stay patient and he eases over the ridge and we continue up the draw, hoping to get another chance at this really nice antelope. <laughs> Well, we ease up to the edge of the draw and Cal just sticks his head up over the edge. There's a drainage and he goes up and lifts his head up and he sees the antelope. They're at 80 yards. So all Mark has to do is sneak up, get his night muzzleloader in position and make a great shot. Nice antelope, man. Dang right. I look over, he come across by us 40 yards and had all of them all boogered up. Man, he Boy, is he's nice. cool. That's, Congrats, that's buddy. a cool little rack of these Yeah. Yeah, he's just got all those big bumps and trash. Big cutter over here, he's kind of busted there. But old buck, making sure he's a good one. Yeah, those cows, when that cow can come through, I was sitting there thinking, we made it this far and we're gonna let a cow win this so. Well, I tell you what, I'm sure impressed with this night rifle. Yeah. We, yeah. Uh, we've got this night disc extreme and it really did a number on it. It did hammer it.
So every year we do a ministry fundraiser banquet for our nonprofit ministry, and the guys at 4F Outfitters were kind enough to donate an antelope hunt to be auctioned off. And so at that event, Dylan Harden, his grandpa actually bought the hunt for him. And so Dylan is joining up with me and Mark out at 4F Outfitters, and we're gonna be tagging along running camera, hoping to get Dylan on his first antelope ever. Well, after seeing a ton of antelope, we finally see a good, big, mature antelope that's away from a herd. He's kind of by himself, so now it's time to put on a stock and see if we can get Dylan in position to take a shot. stayed in our favor we we're able to drop down into a draw come up around get into perfect position now all Dylan has to do is make a good shot on this antelope
buddy, he's done. Good job. Dude, he is cool. He didn't make it far over the hill, did he? Good thing about this short grass country is it's not hard to. Yeah. Man, that is a good looking animal, buddy. Yeah, just that's what I like so much about him is you can the way they flare, you can see his hooks and his prongs yeah, both in the front. So that's a good buck, buddy. Thank you. Yep, for sure. I enjoyed it. I had to work for it though. <laughs> for sure, yeah. Off by himself again, and I think he's an old buck. He's probably been run out of that big group. Made him a little harder to locate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, I'll talk back and get the pick up. You know, it was really an awesome experience to be able to tag along with Dylan and his grandpa and see how the heritage of hunting was being passed down from generation to generation. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1, Paul says to us, he says, Be imitators of me as I imitate Christ. I really believe this is one of the most bold statements in all of Scripture. What Paul's essentially saying is, if you want to know how to be a godly man, hang out with me. I want to show you how it's done. He's saying, I want to pass along my Christian heritage, not just through what I say, but also through what I do. You know, if you're a father or you're a grandfather, our job is to pass along our Christian heritage to the next generation. And I love the boldness of Paul by saying, if you want to know how it's done, hang out with me because I want to live a life that points you to Christ. So our job is to pass along our Christian heritage to the next generation for folks to be able to look at our life and be able to see Christ in us. So are you living a life that when your friends, your coworkers, your family, when they look at you, do they see Jesus? Not just in your words, but also in your actions. My challenge to you is to live a life in such a way that's like Paul, when Paul says, be imitators of me as I imitate Christ. Are you living a life that when people look at you, all they do is see Christ in your words and your actions? Are you passing along your Christian heritage to the next generation? Because that is what it's all about.